This update comes in two parts. Infamy 4.0 and an XP update for select heists. Let's do the latter first. In this list, previously only Yard had XP for the money bags and none for the artifacts, while the rest only had objective XP. But now, there's XP given for each bag secured, so it's an incentive for moving all the loot, like in border crossing or when RNG decides to reward us in Firestarter Day 2. This is only the first round of improvement, so we can expect more heists to be updated. Alright, Infamy 4.0. So prior to this update, any XP gain after reaching level 100 is gone. As of today, that excess XP goes into something called the Infamy Pool. And here are the in and outs of it. As established earlier, excess XP gain after level 100 goes into the Infamy Pool, which holds a maximum of 30 million. To utilize this pool, we must 1 completely fill the pool, and 2, be at level 100. And when this option is used in the infamy screen, we gain 1 infamy and completely wipe out the pool, but still remain at level 100, unlike the usual option. So the pros of this. Because we remain at level 100, we don't have to remake our builds or play with an incomplete one. Basically 120 skill points all the time. And weapon level locks as well as job class penalties will never be a thing again. Uh, the job class penalty is something incurred when our level is too low versus the hidden difficulty of the highs. Usually we'll see this after a fresh infamy. Then the cons. Only one really. We'll need 30 million XP instead of the original 23 plus. Effectively, it's a reduced gain at about 78%. Finally, the controversial part. Crime spree catch-up works. But there is a countermeasure in this update. The total gain, even with catch-up, is kept to 100 ranks per heist. This means that legit, non-cheating players will have to play at least 6 heists of catch-up to get the 548 ranks for 30 million XP. With the huge stack of bodifiers at a 2.7k plus spree, it will be difficult to abuse, so this is great. And bear in mind, cheaters will always cheat, regardless of countermeasures, so we shouldn't even consider them. Then we have the final bit, which is the user interface. We'll be able to see an approximation of the infamy pool in various places, like the main menu, inventory, mission success, and cashing out of the crime spree. It looks just like the armor bar, just purple. Otherwise, to get the precise value, we'll just check the infamy screen. And that's basically what's going on in this update. Gaining infamy will be less of a chore from now on, and it will be more rewarding to secure any extra loot. Overall, I think it's a good thing, but what about you all? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.